Good afternoon all. Thank you for listening to our presentation. I, um, I'm Martin Heider from NH Architecture, Principal at NH. I'm very excited to present the Merrifield City Community Centre to you today uh, on behalf of the NH team that worked on it. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri Wui Wurrung people uh, that are the traditional custodians of the land where this project is placed. This project is about building a community, a community in Merrifield. And to give you a bit of context, there is a, a, a master plan um, in progress, a community that is building there that is quite of significance. We're talking about 200,000 people uh, in, in the future vision. And uh, it is a community, community that grows very fast. So it is in need of a, a community center that provides that amenity that can support that large amount of people. So where is it and how, how did we go about it? Merrifield City is, as you can see, quite far north. So it's about 40 kilometers and about an hour's drive. And it is really a greenfield site. And it's quite interesting when you drive there, how you can see the landscape transitioning. This was 2013 and within the last eight years, it has developed to something like this. So you see our site being sort of almost catalyst for this community building around the site. And here we are a bit closer in. And this is the building, Merrifield Community Center. Now, a community center for us was really a building, uh, an environment that hosts all parts of life. <clears throat> and that includes, um, to give you a few program examples, a medical center that includes a dentist, that includes a post service, that includes the grocer, the butcher, pretty much, I guess, we all sort of learned in a pandemic the, the essentials, I think we called it. But it also has a playground. It has um, places to celebrate. And this is a snapshot of some of the community contributions to the social media world that are out there that captures in a colorful way what this building has achieved and how this community is growing. In the future, there is a host of, of, of things that, that will come to this site. And we are also involved in the master plan and in future work. Uh, we, for instance, designing a, a swim school at the moment. There's a childcare facility coming along. There's recreational um, facilities. There's workplace coming along. And this is only a, a sort of, we call, we call it a catalyst, a starting point for this larger, for this larger community that is growing around Merrifield City. When you drive out there, and I found it quite um, remarkable how the landscape becomes this really horizontal experience and then uh, dotted around the site, you would see the gum trees, the native trees, and it's actually quite a harsh environment. So it has, it has it, the, the sun intensity is strong, the winds from the north, especially, uh, uh, in summer are very strong and and it's a climate that requires a certain robustness. One thing that we had set out in the master plan and that is very important for us is to really retain all the existing trees on site and we managed to save this one not without challenges but we managed to save this gum tree and when you go under them there's a certain uh, it's almost like a microclimate. It's a little bit cooler and there's an amazing amount of, of bird life in these trees that obviously are connected to each other across the, the ecology of, of the site. So I guess the, 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 the bird life and the, the biodiversity that these trees host um, are now captured in a, a visitor that um, landed on our community center. The architecture of the building is really a reference to, I guess, the, 
the the market topologies that we that we that we know um especially in these regional areas there's sheds everything is based on a horizontal sort of register uh and in this case the roof is really the the, the civic element that we have expressed here in this building uh it registers as a horizontal object on the horizon and the inverted roof form i guess allows us to really work as an invitation it's also as you might notice it's really hasn't got one entrance it has got multiple so it works as this market shared topology which if you were to reference one project i guess it's the the barcelona market hall by morales that really um, expresses that roof and, and it, it 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 references that uh, and then lastly, I guess the material palette is very simple. So it's got a brick base with a timber feet to create that warm and invite people in. Uh, and that was expressed on site. This project was also delivered during COVID. So there were some challenges overcome by the team, but they, they managed to pull that off. And you can see how the, the, the building has got a lot of natural light and it's naturally ventilated as well with the, the, the windows facing to the south and therefore the performance of the building being really a a very, a very um, high performance ESD outcome, as well as the host for the community that um, I guess uh, brings it to life. And lastly, finishing off, I hope I'm not too much over time, uh, is a snapshot of how this community looks at the moment and how it will grow in the future. There is obviously a lot of roads and a lot of infrastructure getting pulled into this place. And you can see the tree, in front of it, holding very firmly its ground. Thank you.